இன்டர்னல் சிஸ்டம் you never get this on google about fishes about photography you can't express experience in words kadal and love nu solli aach na how you will translate love in tamil solunga paakala kadal natpe paasam anbe nesam virupam for everything and you can still go further so words in google will not match your you cannot put your experience in words trek polama it's wonderful <laughs> very good very good i something uh, this jai hind is a very disciplined word uh, word for the army when you meet a christian you say praise the lord brother when you meet an hindu you say ram ram jiki and when you meet a Sar- sardar you say sat sri kal bhai saab and you meet a muslim you say salam alaikum but when you meet an indian you say jai hind and you learn this you learn this not from the army but from school your discipline standard is attention left turn right turn you don't have to go to the army and learn you bring this little kid down here ask him to do left turn he'll do it just like a soldier the thing is we forget about it ah uh, we suffer a lot of memory loss i'm restricted to movement hello <laughs> this technology is very good but sometimes it does hurt so trekking the discipline that i see in this uh, ctc chennai trekking club is very 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 good it's wonderful it is very organized there is something that people call themselves activist who are very unorganized you know but trekking is a very disciplined subject where you have to have a team leader and you have to have a lot of obedience and obedience is it's not delayed obedience it is immediate delayed obedience is disobedience it cannot match that so my life was all not about trekking but was very similar to what you have done which you are doing you are doing it for fun and i was doing it for our nation and for survival i walked uh, uh, i used to do cycling when i was a kid uh, you know bus fare used to be very expensive so from uh, my native place to pondicherry it was about 45 uh, miles so to go to the beach i used to cycle i mean not i we used to cycle and we used to do even now i do 89 kilometers in 3 hours so my last trip 3 uh, months back i uh, cycle from neveli to chennai we done it in 12 hours it's a team so you do trekking in the hills and i do highway trekking when things don't work well for me i just take my pack of 35 kg army rule and walk from valacheri to marina beach lighthouse and from there i go to paris and i walk back the problem is you are disturbed you know if i have to take 35 kg i have to take so many shirts so many pants ellave podunu sir adala and when the police patrol was it me cash stops you in the middle of the night and he says let me see what you are carrying you have to lay everything on the road so after that i stop taking all that முப்பத்தஞ்சு பிளேட் வந்துட்டு உள்ள போட்டுவேன் தூக்கி தலையில போட்டு வந்துட்டு ஐ வாக் நோ வென் தே ஆஸ்க் மீ வந்துட்டு தே ஆஸ்க் வாட் யூஆர் டூயிங் திஸ் ஃபார் யூ நோ சம்திங் இட் கெட்ஸ் இன் டு யுவர் சிஸ்டம் வாட் யூ கால் ட்ரெக்கிங் தி ஆர்மி கால்ட் லாங் ரேஞ்ச் பெட்ரோலிங் தி வே யூ டூ இட் அண்ட் தி வே வி டூ இட் இஸ் வெரி டிஃப்ரெண்ட் இட்ஸ் ஃபன் அவுட் இயர் இட்ஸ் சர்வைவல் அவுட் த it's a lot of difference there but it is pleasure to be in the wild 
it is it is extremely very good to be in the wild now there were a lot of questions asked about wildlife about being attacked by an elephant by a tiger i am a master animal handler for india i train people to catch any animal you show me an animal i can talk to it i can catch it it's not a big problem if it is a wild elephant or anything you can catch it no animal has any intention to harm you they are scared of you paama paatha padaya nadangama yaar sir sonna who said that yeah how many of you speak tamil sorry sorry for those who don't speak tamil if you look at a snake the whole hami will shiver it seems tremble it's a proverb in tamil nothing like that the snake looks at you and it trembles sir the most unreliable is a human being you too brutus caesar is on our an animal has no intention to harm you before i go with my presentation the another thing i would like to share is, this was the biggest task which i wanted to all through my life to sit in front of a system i really appreciate you it guys who spent so many hours in front of a screen it is very easy to take a weapon or without a weapon to eliminate an enemy it is very easy i never felt timid in kargil i never felt timid in kargil we hoisted the indian flag the national flag on tiger hill but it becomes very difficult for me to cross this valachery road <laughs> you know to jog on the road there's no jogging track in chennai to jog on the if you want to have jogging uh, pass you have to go to it iit and then you have to stand there and lot of questions are raised i can't face all that i don't have an identity for myself in iit so to jog on the road it becomes difficult you will find a young lady just like this girl bang 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 and she will ask you tata warm up for <laughs> it becomes very difficult very difficult so i really appreciate you it guys to spend so much of time who spend so much of time in front of your screen great your hats off to you guys i don't know how you sit on that chair now wakanda sir wakar from the time mr peter gave this invitation for me it became a punishment for me to prepare this right sara poi kekna vandittu how to do this sara poi kekna phone panni kekna enna ada vandittu what happened to me yaar na and it doesn't end within one day or you wanna no every time you have to go back and ask questions but really good yeah what you have done so animal welfare i am not an animal activist i am an animal welfare person animal welfare also means human concern i will tell you just a recent incident that took place in sayadapet golf course i was called to rescue a pig that went uh, you know and uh, and it bit a golfer one person it attacked and it bit him bit him badly any of how many of you have read this in the news yeah that's good yeah it bit a golfer now they called me to catch this pig so i went with my team to catch this pig with couple of volunteers i have been there when i went there there are these boys who are called caddies they carry all the golfers things and walk about now to impress the golfers they got into a group of, and they went hunting this pig down and they cornered the pig in between four walls and they tried to kill the pig the pig tried to escape it bit two more people but there are 40 of them in the beating they beat up even their own guys but somehow they killed the pig no after killing the pig i landed there when i landed there the pig is been auctioned for pork vela pesitaanga naal per sernu vandittu 1000 rupees kudukra nee 2000 rupees kuda about 5 6000 rupees that pig is been sold for they brought one tractor and came to transport the body also that time i went there i said what you're doing then i asked them who gave you the right to hunt this pig down no sir it attacked us in self defense we killed it who told you to go and attack that yaar yeah. that bit one person it went there 
Now when I went there, it is auctioned, it is going for pork, everything. I stopped it. I told these people to send this pig for post-mortem. If it bit somebody, human life is so precious. Let it go for a post-mortem. So I insisted. I spent another two hours there. I put it up and I sent it. The next day in the news it came, Blue Cross of India attempted uh, the uh, lodging police complaint against people who the pig bit. I didn't do that. I didn't do that. I had no intention to do that. We wrote up to the Hindu and we asked them to ta revert back, to take this back and apologize. On the phone, they said sorry. But in writing, they didn't do it. We didn't do that. Animal welfare is also called human concern. I sent that pig for post-mortem. I got it done. The pig was noted that it was having rabies. These people were the two. One golfer who bit and the other two guys who bit. They are in hospital. Now they have spent four and a half lakhs for their treatment. If not, one day to over the Kaila, one day to Ainura, Gurti, Dava, one day to Allah, Tunda, Vadishi, to Tungirpa. In the Kariya, one day to Vetti, one day to Nuru, Kuruma, Sapter, come. Hundred families would have consumed this pork. And there were other, a lot of other people who called me. You know, the, the, the ladies in Chennai, they are little peculiar. Sorry for the ladies, huh? They are little rude. They always have the upper hand of everything. They call you, they don't give you a chance to speak because they always speak too much. They don't give you a chance to speak. They don't give you a chance to justify your actions. They called you, they scolded you, they scolded me such a lot. And when I, yes ma'am, no ma'am, let me tell you something, cut the call. <laughs> so I received a lot of calls like this scolding me. I had no intention to save that pig. But when an animal is suspected to be aggressive, or rabies, according to law, you don't kill it. You have to confine it, keep it in a confined space, monitor it. If it dies within a period of seven days, then the body has to go for a post-mortem. If it doesn't die after ten days also, then it is declared only aggressive behavior, not rabid. Now, rabies is one of the worst disease. Being an animal welfare person, I don't want anyone, any human being suffering from any animal bite, any animal attack. So, animal welfare, sir is busy. It always happens, not a problem. The first. So, compassion for life, for all life was a sacred dharma in India. Hindus, Buddha, Mahavir preached the way of no harm for any living thing. Indians are always the founders for something. Pujya Tayartha and Asnat is only Indian who founded the zero. Without the zero, there is no scientific exper experiment that could take place. India is the founder of so many things, but we don't practice it. It is happening in India because we are the only violators also. We violate it the most. So animal welfare, we are the pioneers for animal welfare in the world. But people who have adopted animal welfare are much far better than us. It is not because they have the legislation also, legislation, but because they have the enforcement authorities too. Next. It is not only Hinduism that preaches animal welfare. Even the Quran applies the word Muslim not only to humans but also to animals and the inmate in the intima, in a, inanimate world. The Quran strongly enjoins Muslims to treat animals with compassion and not to abuse them. Now the Bible in the book, if you look at the Bible, now Christianity is not the end of the Bible. Christianity is from the beginning to the end. The first commandment, how many Christians are here? Very good. Shall we? I'll ask doctor one question. What is the first commandment from God to man? That is the last commandment. The first commandment from God to man was given in the Garden of Eden in the book of Genesis. 
chapter 1 where God commanded man to eat of all the fruits of all the trees of all the shoots of all the herbs of all the roots except for this one tree when man disobeyed God's commandment and ate the forbidden fruit he disobeyed God's commandment in every aspect he stopped eating fruits vegetables shoots roots and started killing and eating when God was so angry with this universe in the book of Genesis chapter 6 how many of you know about the Noah's Ark yes the Noah's Ark no when in your language no I'm not speaking Bible language or my language my age language I'm speaking your language the youth language when God was pissed off with this universe <laughs> you know what he done is he called one man by the name of Noah a farmer and he commanded Noah to build a Titanic a big ship and he commanded Noah to take in every clean and unclean animal every species every pair it was the will of God to save the animal kingdom Christianity Christianity is not the end of the Bible Christianity they Christians I'm also a Christian we justify our actions we convince ourselves every time we do something wrong you are given the liberty to justify your actions Paul in the book of, in the epistle to Tem Timothy he says Timothy it's good to drink a little wine for your stomach you are misinterpreting scriptures God created man to be vegetarian that's what the Bible says next in the Holy Bible it is written in the book of Proverbs chapter 12 verse 5 uh, verse 10 a righteous man regards the life of his animal it is written there we don't read it we don't follow it we pretend or we ignore it it is written there next this is these are the words of Buddha all beings are fond of themselves they like pleasure they hate pain they shun destruction they want life and want to live long to all life is dear hence their life should be protected there is a question that I always keep asking myself what is the duty of a wife how many of you are married there all look very young doctor wanted to married there what is the duty of a wife <laughs> super sir what is the duty of the husband and where is it written in the duties could have wanted wife or the duty of a wife or the duty of the husband it is written in the Bible you know what it is written in the Bible it's very simple for the wife wife be submissive to your husbands it's very very difficult for them to obey that wives be submissive to your husbands but what the Bible says for the husband husbands love your wives and you know how he says he how he says how to love them he says one that day no man has hated his own flesh but he has cherished it and nourished it he's no man has hated his own flesh but he's loved it you love your wife more than that Buddha says they want life and they want to live long even animals they want life and they want to live long next sir now Blue Cross of India Blue Cross of India after Mah Buddha Mahavir Hinduism Christianity and everything we are the pioneers for animal welfare in the world Blue Cross of India was founded by Captain Sundram Captain Sundram was a pilot and if you google you'll find the full story there it is uh, very little given there but there is a lot behind it so captain sundram was the founder of uh, blue cross of india and captain usha sundram his wife 
she is not only a captain but she was the first lady woman pilot of india so great people have done great things this is blue cross of india they are the, they, it was founded in 1959 registered in 1964 captain sundram after flying his flight he comes he takes his jeep go, right, runs about right around chennai picks up the injured animals brings it takes it to a vet gets it treated nourishes it puts it back we are following the same procedure today next sir most frequent frequently mentioned indian organizations for animal welfare we are rated number 1 blue cross of india we are rated number 1 animal welfare board of india comes number 2 now when you talk about the animal welfare board of india animal welfare board of india is the first government organization which was founded in the world in 1962 the animal welfare board of india was founded in 1962 it is the first government organization in the world the remaining are there next sir the most frequently mentioned indian in individuals have been menaka gandhi and dr chini krishnan dr chini krishnan is a scientist chemical engineer he was a professor in iit madras the students were so dumb so he left i teaching them he found he is he founded his own industry he can manufacture anything all he has to do he stands there and he will look at this and he will tell you this measures so much he has he he has a lot of knowledge so he is the co-founder of blue cross of india he is the founder of the animal birth control program in the world at present he is talking in london so dr chini krishnan that's dr chini krishnan so he goes about telling people how to do things next sir this is something all animals are aware of their own surroundings animals have an emotional dimension animals are aware of what is happening to them animals have the ability to learn from experience animals are aware of bodily sensation pain hunger heat cold etc animals are aware of their relationship with other animals animals have the ability to choose between different animals objects objects and situations these are some pictures the last picture i have uh, taken it from google the remaining pictures i have taken myself i am not a photographer or something but uh, there was a gentleman who asked a question about having a small camera even having a small camera you get a very rare opportunity to get that shoot you know something so important happening and you have a camera it is opened and you just have to click it's uh, it's fluke there are so many professional cameramen who do not get that opportunity next sir now for animal laws animal what does the laws say the constitution of india the directive principles of state policy part 4 article 48 the state shall endeavor to organize agriculture animal husbandry on modern and scientific lines and shall in particular take steps for preserving and improving the breeds and prohibiting the slaughter of cows calves and other milk and rot animals that's myself in that picture with a russell's viper the most number of uh, snake bite deaths that happen in asia is caused by the russell's viper a russell's viper is the most aggressive snake that uh, i've ever seen i've caught about uh, 7634 snakes on record i came into animal welfare when i was in uh, Kashmir we were patrolling Baramulla and behind Baramulla Baramulla is a place where there's the hardcore terrorist prison is there so you know there's a lot of fun and uh, to for vengeance every prison gives them a way to escape so what these people in Baramulla done it's a very old prison so they used to have that uh, septic tank out of the prison with all the feces human feces flowing underground so they give a chance for this uh, uh, terrorist who wants to escape get into that feces go under water swim and come out that side and there there is better security down there for them to pick it up for for them to pick them up so i was patrolling on the hills of baramulla when we found about 1500 people standing around the septic tank it was it was about 40 by 30 
by 15 feet deep. So we were inquisitive to know what is happening there. So I had come down there and all my boys looked at me and I said, what? There was a cow that was sinking into these feces. It was a big Jersey cow which was sink sinking into the feces. I was the platoon commander. They were looking at me. I said, what? You know, every time they looked at me, they're giving me a signal, daddy, you have to go in first. <laughs> so we removed our belts, made a chain, and I got into it. And not only going into it, it's a big Jersey cow. Every time I tried to put my hand, you know, keep my head up. Nobody wants to eat shit, huh? <laughs> so keep my head up and put this belt underneath. It was, I was not able to take it this side. So how long can I do it? And I'm also sinking. It, it's like sinking sand, you know, it goes in slowly, slowly. So I had to go underneath, come out this side with the help of touching the cow, coming up, tying it, and they pulled me out. This is called, this place is called Ramban. It's an Hindu populated, Hindu Pandit populated area. They pulled us out. After pulling us out, all these 1,500 people, they filled up pots of water and they were giving the cow a bath. <laughs> and I walked five kilometers to the Jhelum River to have a bath. So this is how I came in. So when I ret retired from the defenses, I was employed as the fire and security manager in Neveli. Due to the mining, all these snakes used to get uh, disturbed. They used to come into residential areas. And every time you can find a big cobra, six and a half foot, killed and thrown on the road. So I was getting disturbed by them killing these snakes. So one day when they were in the act of killing, I stopped them. I said, don't do it. They said, if I don't do it, one day, that will bite someone. I said, it won't bite. Let it go. They said, we cannot let it go. It will get into someone's home. I said, okay, right. I'll pick it up. So with the, my skills, I picked it up, put it into a gunny bag, gunny bag and took it and went. So from, then, from that day, I used to call the forest department. It is very difficult to get them responding. But still, with the Blue Cross of India, help of the Blue Cross of India, I used to get them coming, taking these snakes and going. So this Russell's Viper, if you Google it, will be it, it's about five feet long. It says, but this is five feet six inches. These, it is very easy to kill a snake. It is very easy to kill an animal. For an animal to grow five and a half foot feet, it takes a lot of time. A long, long time. One man's decision, he cuts down a tree. And the Martha of it takes 25 to 50 years for the snake to survive. And in that habitation, in the midst of so much of uh, human habitation, it took years. You don't kill it. You don't kill it. Next, sir. Universal Declaration of Animal Rights. Free. Freedom from hunger and thirst. These pictures, this picture is uh, from Google and the top picture is from Google also. This is the water bowl project where a group of IT students got together, Karunia, that is his group. They got together and last year they put up water bowls. I was the one who went and they done all the funding fundraising, doing everything. And uh, I had to do the running, running about for these guys. Bargaining, how to get it cheap, what design to make. And they put up all these bowls. Right around Chennai, they put up about 3,000 bowls. A group of very few animal welfare people. And there were dogs sitting in the water bowl. There were birds drinking from it. And this is also one dog drinking from that water bowl. Next, sir. Freedom from hunger and thirst. This is freedom from discomfort. Freedom from discomfort. This top picture is recently taken when I rescued these cows being uh, smuggled and transported to Kerala for slaughter. Kerala is the slaughterhouse of Asia. They've eaten up all the animals in Kerala. They've eaten up all the animals in Tamil Nadu. Now they've almost eaten up all the animals in Andhra Pradesh. Now it has gone to Karnataka, uh, Orissa and uh, Maharashtra. Karnataka, you can't get animals from there. Kerala can't get. Tamil Nadu is no better.